The game is different every year, so we start the season off with a kickoff. That's where we get the rulebook for the new year. So we get to go into the field and play with the new elements and see how things could work well, like actually playing with it. It's really interesting to take notes on and see what everyone's thinking. Hey guys, we got our kids today. Hey. Yeah, let's have a look at them, okay? All right, let's get in that box. What is it? This is our computer control. We have to do three things. We have to design this robot, we have to build the robot, and then we have to program it through this little module so that we can run it, okay? I decided to take on becoming a builder, actually one of the main builders for our team this year. I like electronics. I like things that tick, things that move, because you type it out too. All right guys, so we just saw the game, and now we need to strategize before we start designing. What do you think is important about the game? It seemed to emphasize on putting racquetballs in the crates and lifting them as high as we can. Also the bowling ball. Getting the bowling ball into the goal is 20 points. We have a lot of different people on our team, so it was kind of hard to come up with a mutual decision. But when you draw things out and work through everything, then it will help. So why don't we put something on the back? It's like an elevator bringing them all up, something attaching to the crate. We can get more points with all the balls we had put in it through the front. OK, so these all look really nice. Let's go start prototyping. Yeah. Yeah. We pretty much just collaborated to see like which design would work better. From this black box, you can pretty much program these motors right here to go in which direction you want or what speed you want based on the controller. All right, it's done, finally. Yeah. The programming is basically writing everything down for the robot in the computer. At first it was, does it work? And once we got that down, it was more tweak this, fix this, then see if it works with the whole design. And anytime there was a problem, it was generally, we may have to edit the programming. All right guys, here's our field and our robot. We're gonna play a 30 second autonomous period with the robot, followed by a two minute teleop period where the robot is controlled by you. So let's get out there and see what this robot can do. Yeah! yeah. activities, we go and we help out at our schools and other competitions to help mentor the FLL and FTC students there for outreach. We teach the FLL teams uh, gracious professionalism, which is one of our biggest focuses at FIRST Robotics. It teaches respect and kindness and you want to win your games, but you also understand that winning isn't everything and the whole goal is to build a robot and learn to be a better team member. Let the games begin! Two thousand twelve FTC bowled over to Homa Regional Qualifying Competition. Now we present our role by ourselves to a panel of judges. So, the racket balls will come in through here and up this conveyor system. They asked to see, what did you do for the robot? Did you design it? Did you program it? What did you do for your community? And things like that, to see what you did and what you affected while you're doing this. A robot has to pass inspection before it gets on the game floor. There are two parts of inspection. The first one is the inspection of the robot itself. For the second part, which is software, what you're doing is making sure that the program works with everything that's already been set up. Okay, Thank you. great job guys, thank you very much. One, when you're driving in the contest, it's way different than practice. When practice, you're by yourself. When you're driving with other people, you're like, oh, they just knocked over those balls and now that's everywhere. Our next award is the Inspire Award. This award goes to the team who, in the judge's opinion, best exemplifies a role model first tech challenge team. We are pleased to announce that this year's Inspire Award winning team is Team 3039, Sammy Bot. <laughs> Let's 
Winning the Aspire Award is... It's amazing. <laughs> I basically gained a family through which I will have contacts and we'll all be able to help each other in the future. It's like, first and me, we're like, family.